Hi, Raylan. I picked out this book, Birdie's Big Girl Hair. I looked at her hair. I thought it looked like ours. It's kind of red, and it's crazy. This is a good one. Here we go. Every morning when Birdie woke up, she hugged her dog, Monster, and then jumped out of bed. Birdie liked to start her day with some stretches. She brushed her teeth and then her hair. Make sure you brush your hair this week. But today Birdie's hair seemed extra unruly. It was standing up crooked where it, it should have been sitting down straight. It had tingles and fuzzballs where it should have been silky and smooth. Before Birdie could brush it out, she smelled something yummy coming from the kitchen. Yay! Mommy was making breakfast. Good morning, Mommy, cried Birdie. Oh, strawberry pancake's my favorite. Oh, sweetheart, Mommy gasped. Your hair has gotten so long. I think it might be time for us to go to the hair salon. Birdie clapped with delight and pictured herself with a big girl hairdo. Mommy, she asked, can I look for some new hairstyle ideas? Mommy smiled at Birdie's eager face. Absolutely. And if you find a picture of something that's just right, we'll bring it with us to the salon. After breakfast, Birdie dashed off to start looking for her perfect new hairdo. She poured over Mommy's books and magazines. Wow, Monster, there are so many styles to choose from. She imagined herself with each glamorous hairstyle, chick classic, flowy, feathery flips, a bold, blunt bob with bangs. Nothing felt quite right. Later that day, Birdie went to the park to play with her best friends. They had some new hairdo ideas. How about a bun like a ballerina, says Coco. What about spikes like a rock star? suggested Eve, or braids, like a princess, says Charlie. But Birdie still couldn't decide. Back home, Birdie worried she'd never find the Ray right hairdo. Then suddenly she discovered a book she'd never seen before, Mommy's high school yearbook. Oh, monster, look at Mommy and her gorgeous hair. Birdie had finally found the hairstyle of her dreams and was ready to go to the salon. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to look like. Birdie felt so special. She put on a silk robe and got shampooed, conditioned, combed, and trimmed. Then she was brushed, blown out, and curled. When her hairdo was finally finished, she looked in the mirror and oh my! Birdie felt so luxurious. She felt so shiny. She felt so full of bounce. Look at that beautiful hair. Birdie couldn't wait to go back to the park and show her friends her new hairdo. Wow, Birdie, your hair looks so fantastic. Birdie was so happy she flew sky high on the swings and ran super fast playing tag and seesawed like never before. She was having such a good time and she didn't realize her new hairdo had lost its coof. Oh no, it flattened. Birdie was heartbreaking, broken. My hairdo is all messed up, Mommy, she cried. It doesn't look like yours anymore. Mommy knelt down and, and looked right into Birdie's eyes. But my beautiful Birdie, now it's even better. It looks like you. That night, Birdie brushed her teeth and then her hair. Mommy read her a book and kissed her goodnight. Then Birdie hugged a monster and dreamed of strawberry pancakes, her favorite. The end. Good night, Raylan. Remember to brush your hair.